indoor location has been this problem that just has remained unsolved until now. Um, it's one of those situations in which um, there's no good solution for answering the question of exactly where I am indoors. Bite light functions in the exact same way as a GPS satellite. Um, the only difference is that instead of, you know, this object that's orbiting in space, it's an object that's going to be in every single building in the world, an LED light bulb. So LED lights turn into satellites, they transmit data to users via their existing smartphones, and then we can leverage that data to push content to an individual um, that's highly dependent on their location. So for example, um, imagine you're shopping in a retail environment, you're standing in, in front of a product. Um, because I know your location, I can push you a deal, a coupon, or information that's specific and targeted to you. The origins of retail were in general stores, right? You went down to the local store, the owner knew your name, they knew what you liked. That aspect was lost as we kind of transitioned to this big box model of retail. Um, but now when you combine indoor location with a mobile phone that's aware of your um, identity and per personal preferences, we can customize that shopping experience and personalize it in a, in a completely new way. We think retailers, will, brick and mortar retailers, are going to need to evolve in order to survive. You know, instead of just you know, accepting that people are going to come in, scan you know, barcodes and, and go to Amazon.com, leverage a mobile environment to improve the shopping experience for your shoppers. Outside of retail, you know, there's opportunities in museums, there's opportunities in hospitals as well for stuff like employee efficiency, um, just routing people from point A to point B. There's also opportunities in you know, warehouses, convention centers. Um, so broadly, you know, we believe that indoor location is going to be bigger than GPS. Um, so GPS was a huge market, um, disrupted many, many different things. And with indoor location, that's where people spend 90% of their time. Um, so we think there's going to be a much more um, lucrative opportunity in, in indoor location. So myself, my co-founder Aaron Garnick, both went to Boston University. Um, we did research there as undergrads. When we had the initial breakthrough with the tech, I was uh, in dog patch labs. I was literally turning the dial on a function generator and had something click and we said, okay, this, this is it, we're going to go after this. But at the end of the day, this, a startup is a roller coaster ride. You have your highs and your lows. Um, you find most entrepreneurs, that's why they do it, right? You do it you know, for, for the, the joy that you get when you land a customer, when you close a round of funding, um, when you add you know, a killer new member to the team. And you also do it for the lows. You know, there, there's plenty of instances we have where you look at the problems you're facing and you just think, you know, there's just no way we're going to be able to figure this stuff out. But um, entre entrepreneurship broadly is about pushing through those moments to experience the, you know, the next high, the next joys again. If you're a consumer um, and you're checking out in the aisle, you'll tap your phone on this LFC reader verifies that you're there, and then gives you redemption points, loyalty points that you can use down the road.